Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who know me, welcome back. And for those of you who don't, I'm Pia and I'm your host for all things Lux. On today's video, I thought I'd share with you my 2024 luxury wish list. This is a list I create at the beginning of every year. It's got nothing to do with my personal goals list, like being more in touch with the family since I live away, visiting the family a couple of times a year, or making sure I take good care of my health, all that jazz. That's more of a private sphere for me. However, this list I'm very happy to share with you, since that's what this channel is all about. We've gone on the minus zero centigrade degrees today. However, the sun is out, I'm in front of a lovely window, I've got my little wool wheel blanket. So I'm all cozied up in here, ready to share this list with you. Like I was saying, this list is something I create at the beginning of every year, and it helps me keep myself a little bit motivated when I'm working. It's just a really good motor for me. The first thing on this list has to be a flat in Paris. As you know, I live in France. About a year and a half ago, we were based in Paris. However, now we spend most of the time in Normandy. And so even if we're not there 100% of the time anymore, we do still really want to go and pull the trigger, get a flat in there, have our own space when we go. Because I still visit Paris a couple of days every week. And besides it being a good investment, I mean, Paris is always a good idea. And if I ever get sad this year, I might as well be sad in Paris. We're just going to be looking for a pied-à-terre, something that's in the Haussmannian architecture, obviously very quintessentially Parisian. And then I'm looking into doing a really modern design for the interior. So I've already started looking at what type of interior I want to decorate it with, etc, etc. Even if I think that will be a project that will take place a little bit later during the year, because we'll just have more time in our hands later. However, I am really looking forward to starting that project, doing a whole decoration area and finishing to decorate this house as well. This place, I feel like I got accustomed to a lot of the rooms once they became functional. I know a house is never ready, but I still want to bring a little bit more warmth, more coziness, more us, a lot more art that is currently in storage actually right now. But it's just a matter of time. We haven't really had time to take care of those finishing touches. Let's say once the house became functional, we took our foot a little bit out of the pedal of decorating it. And I think this year I also want to take care of that. That is the only item on my wish list that will be a two people item because it's something I'm taking care of with my husband. However, the rest of the items that I'm mentioning today are just things that I want to get for myself. Although I don't mind sharing them with him if he wants to be wearing a broken around or whatnot. <laughs> the second item on my list has to be a Birkin 25, either in a really dark navy or a midnight blue or in, in a tube color. Yellow gold hardware, Togo leather, retourné. I am envisioning her and I know she's coming this year. To be honest with you, I enjoy using my Birkin most out of all of my handbags. I do have some bags that I think are just more comfortable on certain occasions. The Birkin I currently have is in the size 30, so I would love to add a little sister to her and just some something that can take me a little bit more into early night occasions, whether that's early dinners, apéro, tea time, that type of thing. I want something that I can wear a little bit later throughout the day. A use that I think with the Birkin 30, I can only get away with on certain occasions when the weather's hotter, but I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. And I think those two shades could be a perfect match to the accessories I currently own and as well to my color palette on my wardrobe. Now the third item I want to get is something to motivate myself to get my French driving license. Now the reality of things is that I've had a driving license for about, I would say 13 years, give or take and it's a Uruguayan driver's license. However, since I got my permanent residence in here, I am obliged to repass the permit, repass my exams. And honestly, I haven't really found the motivation for doing that. I am somebody that hypes myself up a lot when I see a need for something. But because in a daily life, I don't really need a car the way that things are arranged. I just haven't carved time for getting that driver driver's permit on my agenda. However, with the next item on my list, I will have to carve 
time for it. And that item is a Porsche Boxster. Now, this is a car I fell in love with, probably like any other girl that was obsessed with Legally Blonde. So probably about 20, over 20 years ago. <laughs> I think it's something that would be super fun to have around and like wear the little uh, mascara for my head, the little Audrey style sunglasses. Yeah, this is the car I've wanted for the last couple of years. And I told myself, if you buy one of those, you're going to have to change your permit. So I think it's a great motivation. Now, the only issue is that I entered the Porsche website and not really an issue, but yes, it's an issue. The way I would like it to look is midnight blue on the outside and the interiors in that kind of combination between sand, camel, and whiskey. However, they currently don't offer those interiors and the midnight blue option that they offer is a little bit lighter than the one that they used to do a couple of years ago when I actually fell in love with that car two decades ago. And so I am thinking perhaps it will be better to get a pre-loved one also because with cars like this, the moment you buy them, they just lose value and it's not really a good investment. So I don't know if I could justify, I don't know, any experts in there, just let me know in the comments down below. I honestly just like the aesthetics of it. I do like to give it a little go on the pedal from time to time. Now from Hermes, yes, there will be a couple of items from them. I would love to get my hands on the Kelly Elan. As you will have seen, I tried it at their boutique towards the end of last year. As you can see, it's a very minimal, Kelly-inspired sort of baguette shoulder handbag, quite structured, makes being hands-free easy. I think the colors I would like it in are either a dark military green, a really dark brown, or even a super dark gray. Obviously, when it comes to the bijouterie, I would like it to be in the yellow gold color. When it comes to jewelry, there are a couple of things on my wish list for this year. The first one being a pair of earrings from the Enchanted Lotus collection by The Beers. I will insert a picture of them in here. Dainty and botanical inspired diamond covered earrings. They only make them on a white gold basis. However, diamonds do tend to stand out better when they are on a white gold basis. So that wouldn't really bother me very much. I completely fell in love with the collection last year in September during their Christmas presentation pop-up at the Galerie Lafayette preview. And so I got the chance to play around with the collection, try it on a little bit, and I just really liked it. I thought it was the right amount of feminine and sober at the same time. And I think that's something I would really enjoy adding to my collection this year. Also from the jewelry department, something else I would like would be a three diamond ring with oval diamonds. I'm thinking a yellow gold base, the main larger diamond in the center, and then two smaller diamonds on the sides, all of them in an oval shape. I really like the idea of oval diamonds and I think that would be Fun. Oh, I'm not wearing my rings. Hold on, I'm gonna get my rings because I feel naked. But I knew there was something off. Much better now, isn't it? I think I took them out for preparing lunch earlier. Or was it dinner yesterday? It was while housewifing. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Diamond ring. Either to wear it on this finger right here next to my wedding band or on this finger right here whenever I'm not wearing maybe the rest and just have it be a centerpiece. There's no rhythm or rhyme for this video. It's honestly just an explosion of categories. So for this next one, this is the place that I most want to visit during 2024. And that is the Azores Islands. This is an archipelago that belongs to Portugal. And that is where my Portuguese side of the family comes from. So as you know, I was born and raised in Uruguay. We have ancestors from Portugal. France, Italy, and Lebanon. And so I would love to visit Azores. In any case, I've already got the husband into it. So I think it's pretty much decided that's going to be one of our holiday locations this year. Now from a mess as well, I would love to get my hand on all the beauty brushes collection. This summertime, I had my makeup done by one of the Hermes makeup artists in Paris. And I love the way her brushes felt on my skin. It is no news that I'm a big Hermes fun anyway and like with other things they haven't disappointed the quality of the brushes is absolutely lovely i can tell you that on the skin they felt really 
beautiful. I did enjoy the way they deposited product and I think that would be something fun to add to my beauty collection this year. I would also love to get my hands on some Pauline handbags. I saw this one which looks absolutely gorgeous. It's like taking a little ship with you everywhere and I think that would look really cute during my winter holidays coming up very soon so i'm pretty certain we'll be having an unboxing of this one coming up another color i would love to test out from them is this one right here i can't quite remember the name of it but i will insert a link to it on the description section down below in case you're interested in it it does look absolutely lovely and i think during the colder months, it's something that I could really enjoy. From the Victoria Beckham Beauty Collection, I do want to get the new perfume that she's come out with. I want to get some new satin eye cajal liners, particularly one that has a sort of aubergine shade that looks absolutely gorgeous and that I think will marry very nicely with my dark tone features. I want to get the lipstick because I haven't tried the lipsticks yet. I want to get some other stick eyeshadows because I've absolutely loved using mine throughout last year. This is what I'm using on my eyes today is by Victoria Beckham and I love it. And then the Cell Rejuvenating Serum, the tinted one with Augustina Spader, I think that is something that I would really love to test this year as well. And then the final things I would like to get are a face light probably from current body because i tested out my friend andreas back in london and i really really enjoyed it it's great for the inflammation in the skin cell rejuvenation and just overall anti-aging as well i also want to get an infrared sauna i've really enjoyed and benefited from having the leg compression machine at home accessible whenever i want or need and i think an infrared sauna is something that I could highly highly benefit from as well. On this sort of techie category, the last thing I want to get is an electric current face massager. I would love to start paying a little bit of attention to this area of the face. I don't think it's anything urgent but there is no medicine as preventative medicine and now the last thing on this luxury wish list is going to be a coat and a play suit by a mess i would love a winter coat all in cashmere very sober something like this which they currently have i did try it in mexico last year when we went there for holidays and i absolutely fell in love with it however they did not have it in my size and then i just never got around to getting it this winter but this week I've been invited to the private sales of a mess which are kind of like their sales but they're invitation only and I get to take a plus one so I'm taking one of my girlfriends there with me and we're gonna see if they have a coat that resembles that I might as well just crack and get it right there and then and then something else I would really love to find is a play suit whether that's a silk play suit or a linen play suit something in all dark navy khaki maybe a brown camel I would also be open to a total ecru one I think that would look gorgeous so yeah we'll see what i find and if i do find goodies that i really really love i will definitely be coming back here and doing a little what i got at the Hermes sale unboxing all right you guys that's everything that's on my 2024 luxury wish list for this year thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye